Hi, my name is Terry, and um, I've been a born-again Christian for about 18 years and been coming here to Bethany for just as long. Um, over the years, the Lord has done really amazing things for in my life and in my family's life also. When I came to the Lord, my marriage was a mess, and uh, God saved not only me, but He saved my husband too. And then He went to work healing our wounds. I believe God's Word with my whole heart. So when things started going bad again in my marriage over time, um, I really had a hard time understanding. I just didn't get it, why that had to happen again. So I tried harder, and so did my husband, but we could never seem to get it right. Um, so we separated, and we would get back together, and we went through cycles like that over the years. And uh, while my marriage was in a mess, I was also trying my best to be there for my dad. Um, he was always a very strong man, um, but his body began to break down and it was quickly deteriorating. And um, it was really just, it seemed cruel in the way that it was happening to him. So helping my parents became my priority, and uh, this went on for several months. And um, Daddy was in and out of the hospital, and there were many complications that we were trying to deal with. So one day, it all came to an end when my mother and sister and I were suddenly faced with having to make the decision for life support or not for Daddy and we already knew what his wishes were and that he wouldn't want to live that way. So in honoring him, we had to let him go. And sometimes honoring those we love, it's to our own hurt and pain, even though it's the right thing to do. And to be by his side and watch him go the way that he had to was the most painful day of my life. But not long after the death of my father, my marriage um, slowly died as well, and there was nothing left that could be repaired. So the circumstances that I found myself in left me in a state of knowing that I would forever be separated from my spouse. I was in a bad financial position with no way out and a broken heart full of grief over many things. And I began to question God as to how he would allow these things to happen. I had tried to do my best, but it seemed as though it wasn't enough. I felt angry and betrayed and ashamed of my failures. So my prayer life slowly began to die as well, and I didn't share much with my church family either. So for three years, I sat in ashes and I allowed my faith to get weak and fear about the future began to take over. I knew if I didn't seek counsel from God in the church that my mess was only going to get much worse. So I began to seek God again with my whole heart and I asked Pastor Mark for counsel in my situation and through his counsel I realized that I needed to settle it once and for all. Was I going to live my life by faith or in fear? And I chose faith because when I look back over what God has done over the years, it's in the end, he, he's always been there for me. He's been amazing to me. So I began to pray again, and God's words started becoming more clear again to me. And I realized how much I needed his presence in my life and my church family as well. I thought that God had abandoned me. But what I found is that he was really waiting for me to come to the end of myself. And in seeking him with my whole heart and reconnecting with my family here at Bethany, I've experienced tremendous deliverance from burdens that I never should have been trying to carry on my own. Always be joyful. And never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. In learning to live this scripture and daily giving thanks to God for all things, I'm receiving joy in the Lord. He's healing me and teaching me so much through ugly moments in the past 
Now I can see that he has used them to change me for the better, to help me and guide me to the place he wants me to be in. Through his loving kindness and the prayer support of my friends here at Bethany, in less than a year, I've been able to forgive and let go of the failed marriage and its hurts. God has made a way for me and relieved me from the financial burdens that I was in. And I look forward to seeing Dad again in heaven and walking with him in Jesus. The Lord is restoring what I lost, and I'm enjoying friendships with other believers in Christ. My faith is growing, and I want to live for Christ daily. Thanks for listening.